Greetings from Anonymous. The United States government is seeking to end the Constitution. This will endanger the American people and we will not stand by and watch while this government of deception prepares to rip away from us all of the freedoms that our forefathers granted us. The freedoms that were fought for, bled for, that our ancestors died for. We must ensure that blood was not shed in vain, that their lives were indeed lost for a great nation that is not yet lost. We refuse to let the United States government destroy our way of life. The United States government insists on labeling us as terrorists. The question is, who do we terrorize? Is it probable that the United States government is truly afraid of we, the people nevertheless? The time for action is now. It is time to remind the government that we, the American people are the ones who hold the power of this country not them. The American people have realized that the current government is no longer functional. Our economy is unstable, our representatives uncooperative, and our system destroyed. We are not calling upon the collective to deface or use a distributed denial of service attack on a United States government agency website or affiliate. We are not calling upon the people to once again occupy a city or protest in front of a local building. This has not brought on us any legislative change or alternate law. It has only brought us bloodshed and false criticism. For the last 12 years, voting has been useless. Corporations and lobbyists are the true leaders of this country and are the ones with the power to control our lives. To rebuild our government, we must first destroy it. Our time for democracy is here. Our time for resolution is here. This is America's time for revolution. To restore our constitutional rights. To once again, be free therefore. Anonymous along with the American people have decided to openly declare war on the United States government. This is a call to arms. We call upon the citizens of the United States to stand beside us in overthrowing this corrupted body and call upon a new era. We refuse to be a police state. We refuse to be brutalized and dehumanized by the very people our tax dollars fund to protect our cities and streets. We will not allow the government to control our destiny, our right to build a life for ourselves. We demand freedom from government control, taxation, repossession and death. You will not come to our doors and take our guns, our property. You will not force the citizens of this great country to participate in the unlawful act of government mandated health care. We the people refuse to put in your control our health, our bodies, our minds, our lives. We will not grant permission for the government to deploy drones over our homes and communities. We must end the Federal Reserve. A private central bank should not issue our currency, set interest rates and run our economy. Rather, we need to return control over the currency to the American people where it belongs. You, the United States government have overstepped your privileges for the last time. Our peaceful actions, patience and restraint have been demonstrated as we watched and waited for our Congress and representatives to speak for the American citizens and protect us from the tyrant that sits in the Oval Office and happily strips the American people of our rights, one by one, executive order by executive order. We have waited long enough. The Declaration of Independence establishes the supremacy of the people and the right and duty to defend the rights of the people over the acts of the government. Our Constitution provides for as many protections as possible to ensure that the government is subservient to the people and only exists for the purpose of serving the people. However, should these protections fail it is up to the people to rise up against the government and to put the government back in its place. In this capacity, the people act as the fourth branch of government to take control and to override their decisions that violate the fundamental rights of the people to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. 
by what means do the people exercise their authority over the government that depends on how resistant the government is to complying with the will of the people. In the case of the Declaration of Independence, it meant declaring war on the government and overthrowing them. This is obviously a last resort after taking other steps less harsh. Have we not tried it is clearly the right and the duty of the American people to overthrow the government in order to restore the United States as a government to serve the people. This is clearly established in historical precedent. This is that time. We have exhausted every other option. Our government has ignored us. We must take action to ensure our freedoms. When the government violates the Constitution, it is the duty of the people to rise up against the government to bring them back into compliance with the Constitution. Our allegiance is not to the government. Our allegiance is to the American people, because they are us, and we are them. We the people have both the power and the responsibility to maintain our government in a manner that best serves the people in the pursuit of life, liberty, freedom, and the citizens of America. You are not alone. There are millions beside you. You will know when it's time, when the government attacks your words. We fight with voice. When the government attacks your guns, we fight with our weapons. We are anonymous. We are Americans. We never forgive. We never forget. We will fight for our rights. To the United States government, it's too late to expect us. Operation American Freedom Engaged